Hey guys, Sherry from The Watering Mouth here. Today I'm doing a review on the Gourmia Electric Spiralizer. I'm gonna put a link for this particular one down below so you can check that out if you'd like. I really, really like the spiralizer. I'm gonna tell you why. The other exciting thing is that I'm doing a giveaway for this spiralizer. If you're watching this video around the time that I'm posting it, then you can enter the giveaway too. So if you don't know what a spiralizer is, basically it takes a vegetable and turns it into a noodle. So it can make really, really healthy meals for you instead of having like, you know, spaghetti marinara sauce all the time. You can just have zucchini marinara sauce or sweet potato marinara sauce. Or I have a really great recipe for zucchini pasta with avocado sauce on my website and you can check that out it's like ugh, one of the best there's also some really good recipe books for um, spiralized foods so I'm gonna put some links for those down below if you're interested and I haven't even opened it yet so we're gonna go from unboxing here it is all right here is the box here's how it comes I'm just gonna open it up see there's two little manuals that come with it one of them is um, full of recipes so it's a big old recipe book and the other one is the manual but it also has more recipes so that's pretty cool I'm going to get all of this packaging out and then I just did a video here to see how long it would take me to figure out how to use it and actually spiralize something. So I did the math and it only took four minutes, just under four minutes to get a carrot spiralized. So I thought that was pretty good, um, not too difficult to use at all. There is a little bit of waste after you finish uh, using a vegetable so that you're going to have always this much waste with every single vegetable that you use um, just because of the way the thing is shaped. So here was one of the first blades that I used. Uh, there's two other ones. So there's a flat one, um, a spaghetti one, and then like a, a kind of a fettuccine type one. Um, so you basically push the vegetable onto this plunger, uh, turn on the machine, push it into the blade, and it will make these ribbons. I found it to be super, super easy, and it worked really well. It's just this spaghetti one um, left a little bit of a core, but that's fine. You can just eat that. <laughs> I tried to do it with a partial zucchini, and that worked as well, as you can see, but it did leave um, a good amount of waste there. So you could just chop that up and add it to your dish if you wanted. Uh, more just eat it while you're spiralizing vegetables. I tried to do a very small carrot and that did not go very well. Um, I ended up with a lot of waste and I didn't get very much spiralized carrot out of it. Then I wanted to show you what it's like. See, you have this much waste every time. So if you're gonna do something like a beet, it's a little bit difficult because you have to chop it in just the right way to be able to use as much of the beet as possible. To make sure you kind of plan ahead when you're using these vegetables that are a, a strange shape. But honestly, it's not different than um, a lot of other spiralizers out there, except for the one I used to have, which is a manual crank. You can get a lot more of the vegetable spiralized using this one. It's just so much more difficult to use. So I actually prefer this electric one than I would getting out this um, cumbersome manual one. So here's the beautiful spiralized veggies. I did this in literally like just a couple minutes. And cleanup was actually a breeze. I just used a um, sponge. There is a little bit down here that kind of, I couldn't get very clean and I wish they would have included like a brush, but like any old toothbrush would probably do the trick. The blades are pretty easy to clean. I just wish you could put them in the dishwasher. Those are the only parts that don't go in the dishwasher. The cord store is really easy underneath the machine and then the machine itself is real easy to clean with just a damp paper towel. That was super simple. And I think it's really easy to just store everything together underneath and when you're cupboards. The only thing about it is that it's um, a whole other appliance for one job, but I think um, considering how annoying those manual hand cranks are, I definitely, definitely like it. And I would totally use it in the future if I was gonna be doing like a lot of veggies at once for like a dinner party or something. All right, I hope you like that. Thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think about this spiralizer or do you have any recipes that you love for spiralized veggies, let me know down below. Don't forget to join the giveaway if it's around the time I posted this video. Let me know if there's any products that you want me to review in the future and I'd be happy to do reviews on those. If you like information on healthy food and recipes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.